I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about database snapshot in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So by using database snaps as snapshot, we can create read-only copies of source database. So and here you get one folder here you can find database snapshot. So if you want add here copies of any database, so you can do that by using database snapshot property. So add here, this is a database snapshot here. There is nothing inside there. So now I'm going to create one database snapshot. So add here, let's write to create and here create database and here give the database a snapshot name so giving add here adam and here giving a snap sort now we have to make that on and here after let's write add here name name and here so name add here adam it's a selected so if you want add here you should give at your logical files. So at your logical files, Adam is there. Now here give Adam. Now here after we need to give a specify the where you want to save the file. So write at your file file name. And here after in a single code we need to paste the location where you want to save the file and here this location I'm going to save now paste it here and here after give the snapshot name and here giving Adam and here sp dot ss now here after the next is we need to close that and here after let's give the alias add here as a snapshot a snapshot we have to make first on then off so then off add here let's give the database name adam so this is the simplest query to create a database a snapshot now execute that so add a command completed successfully. Now first I am going to show you inside items. So this is the tables inside there. And here after the next thing is, so add here, this is the synonyms. So all the copies of Adam, it's created under database snapshot. So let's refresh add here. Now here you click on plus not this one here plus here you can find data adam snapshot it's a created created now click on plus and here you can find database so whatever the database sorry whatever the table inside adam database so it comes under adam underscore snapshot and whatever the synonyms inside to add here adams so it comes under a snapshot and here you can find there is the one file created Adam SPSS. Now here this is the Adam, this is the MDF file. See the properties. Add here 256 MB size on disk 256 MB. Now here this is the file just created. Here you can check the add here size 256 MB and here it stick size on disk 128 KB. Now here you can find the created date 16, 6, 19, so 27, so it's 28 at here, so it's just created. Now here after, so why do we need database as snapshot? So suppose if user do so many modification on Adam or any database. So after that we want to store, suppose if I delete at here sales create or table so by uh, mistake, by mistake, it's a deleted. Okay, sales credit, no more, add there. So add here, if you refresh, Adam database, not this one. So we, I'm going to refresh Adam database. Now here, sales credit, you cannot find. So how do we recover that database? So by using Adam 
by using a snap database a snapshot we can easily do that so only you need to write one simplest query so let's write the query first i'm going to use at here use master use master now let's use at here go and here after let's use the ester the ester and here database and here item and here after let's give add here from database snapshot underscore a snap sort now here give the a snapshot name Add here this is the name Adam. Give add here Adam and here underscore a snap sort. Now after single code and close that. Now execute to this query. So I did the mistake. We need to write master. So add here command completed successfully. Now here after Adam and here after so I just deleted sales grade table. Now here you can find sales grade. It's now or uh, it's again it's come there. So by using add here as database as snapshot, so we can recover our database table as table synonym views store procedure anything. So one time create at here did, uh, a snapshot and here after, after that we can recover. Now here after let's uh, see some important point about the snapshot. So if I'm going to create uh, some tables inside a snapshot. So at here right click here new and table. Let's give at here ID and here after let's save that. So at here getting the error masses Try to update database item snapshot because database is read only. So at here this is the read only. So we cannot do any modification on database snapshot. So we can only do the changes at here. Here. So this is the important point. And here after. So here after whatever do at here modification. Okay, whatever delete, update, and or uh, anything happened in the table. So by using or database a snapshot so we can easily recover so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you